UA Originals. Every story begins at the end of another. him so much. I know. I miss him too. Maybe if you go to see him, pay your respects? No, I, I can't. I, I can't do that yet. Zuberi. Mama, I can't. Baba, he, he left this for you, for the days after. When Baba found out he was sick, the look on his face, the anxiety, the fear, the anger, even a little confusion. But he had this sudden drive to write. He started this book. I think he wanted to make sure he had a good story to tell his son. What's it about? I don't know. But maybe it is for you to find out. Take your time, Zuberi. at the end of a world I once knew. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding? Baba. <laughs> Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me.
Kalunga, god of death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow, Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed. I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail... Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. What do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman, my father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. the mask to channel my power. It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flow, a harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. <laughs> Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side, and these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Ah, 
steel gate. No matter. There must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Hmm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The sun. The moon. I must embrace the dance. that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever. Shaman, fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Makifo. energy. I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with. 
You're no stranger to him. Finally, now to the gate. Karamba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great... together in a harmony fueled by the balance. I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Now this stupid bridge! Hmm. I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge, she was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface.
those first weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. Bridge would best me. Yes, I did. <laughs> Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does. Underestimate them, Zhao. seek to offend or harm. Truly, they are good people. Their only wish is to care. They rejuvenate and welcome others. They help. Come, take a moment. A traveler must rest to know the ground has shifted. just like the sun and moon masks. us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba Stone. <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba Stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well.
gift shines? No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. Mm. and cascaded unto themselves with a will of their own. Baba will have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hedithi. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakarambanga. Please do not fall this time. It is surprising to see Anika Karamban. When the storms became violent, most had fled. Or worse. What is the girl doing out here all alone? Who is she calling to? All questions for the girl to answer. Until then, you should be considering your apology to her. You frightened her, Zhao. You owe her one at the very least. Mm. The Basenji's sorry lick is mightier than its proud bite. Ah, uh, okay, I get it.
curious creatures. Young at heart, a touch naive, perhaps. But they mean well. <laughs> I do like them. And I staff some creatures out here that are not trying to maim me. an energy that you do not yet possess. Baba went fishing. He would say if you did not feed them some of your catch, <laughs> it meant trouble. Boat breakers. Boat breakers? Boat breakers. Semazal, I know you love your Baba very much. I do. But tell me of your mama. Who was she? We should stay focused. Keep looking for the Ikakarambangal. his duty, his purpose, to heal those wandering souls so malformed by their own devastation. You run fast, eh? <laughs> Listen, I wish to apologize. I should... Hey! No, wait! Wait! Why is she running? Why did you say she had little legs? Focusing on the great spirit. Remember, Zhao, a clever fennec can catch two hairs. What? The girl is bringing us closer to Ikakaramba. Right. Do you come up with these sayings yourself? to say I am sorry. No! No! Wait! Ah, as annoying as a tokoloshi. So... No way! How did 
does she get past here? Maybe she flew. Ah, Gwenda. So, you're sweating. You are more than welcome to take over. Sky, suspended in the air, their piercing gaze fixed on the prize. Now, this is not funny. I... Ah, God! Hmm. She is fast. Great baobab tree of Kenzera. Shamans would often rest in the hollow, meditating, considering life, death, and all between. You are a shaman now, Zhao. Perhaps such an act would yield a benefit to take a moment of respite, of reflection. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. You are 
was smiling. My father would take me to the same baobab trees to meditate, and I would hate it. Every time he would go, he insisted it was good. When you are older, you will remember this, you know, but when I am gone, you will remember how annoying you are at these moments. And you will feel sorry for me, and you will laugh. <laughs> it was right. Clever Fennec can catch two hairs. The lift to Ikakaramba. Do you sense that? Yes. The lift is incensed with spiritual energy. Those who are fleeing must have been trapped. Hmm. <clears throat> Make your preparations, Shaman. This will not be easy. Be ready, Zhao. Why did they deny you? They all have their reasons. So they said no to you and you just left them? Denial is a path that winds without end. Yet the path to its destination, it cannot bend. I do not understand. In time, you will.
never better. But the way you took that rojo out was amazing! So brave! That spirit went raw! And you went back, bing, boom! With the masks and dancing and jumping! <laughs> well, you are safe now. So no need to be scared of it anymore. Or me. You? Who is scared of you? Oh, because I ran. <laughs> I thought we were playing a game. A game? We leapt over pits of spikes, sweated over stone blocks, encountered boat breakers for a game? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, I am Zhao, shaman of Amandla, and I wish to apologize to you for running recklessly over the bridge. I was careless. Oh, thank you. Mm, thinking of it, that was a bit scary. My name is Liana. Liana? I seek the great spirit of the sky. You mean in Pundulu? Yes. Do you know her? Yes. We would always play and laugh together. But then things started changing. A storm grew and grew, and Impundalu was not the same anymore. No laughing, no playing. She went to the skies. The storms never stopped. Then everyone was gone. I stayed for Impundalu to make sure she was okay. But when I call her, she does not answer. That was who you were calling to on the bridge. Yes. I call and call and call, and never an answer. She only stays within the skies. If we can just play again, me and her, then it will be okay. Liana, we need to stop these storms. For us to do so, we must get closer to the skies. Do you know how we can do that? Closer? I do, but the storms are... Now that is scary. The only way to reach the skies is through the waterworks, the highest point of Ikakaramba. But it has been locked since the village was abandoned. And the keys are deep within the mines, so I do not know. Eliana, I know you are brave. I can see it. How about we go together, first to the mines? Really? You will really help us out? I will do my best. Zao, Impundulu must be passed to the realm of the dead. Then you should have taken her when you had the chance. Excuse me? Never mind. Is there something on your mind, Zao? Leona is waiting for us. used to. Then let us make it run free again. <laughs> Where are the keys, Liana? There are two. I was playing with my friend Tabia, and we hid the keys all the way down at the bottom of the mine. <laughs> Why did you do that? Tabia thought it would be funny. Mze Jabari, the mine keeper, was always playing jokes. So we wanted to get him back. <laughs> what did he think? I'm sure he found it funny. The storm had hit the village, so... Sorry, Liana. There is a lift further into the mine. Take that 
and it will bring you down to where the keys are. Wait here then. I will not be long. Kalunga. Hmm. <clears throat> Earlier, when I said you should have taken him Bundulu when you had the chance, so much has happened. And I wonder whether things could have been prevented. Rare is it to change what has happened, but we can always choose how we move forward from it. The actions we are taking now will restore balance. That is what we must do, and we do so together. <laughs> 